Welcome to our YouTube channel. In this video, we are talking about the most popular Iranian pop singer, Gugush. Fahege Adishin, whom professionally known as Gugush, is an Iranian singer and actress. She was born on May 5, 1950, and currently is 72 years young. She is the most popular and prolific entertainers of Iran, her career spans close to 70 years. Gugush has enjoyed significant popularity since the beginning of her career, ultimately becoming a cultural icon inside Iran and abroad. She is mainly known for her contributions to Iranian pop music, but she also starred in a variety of Persian movies from the 1950s to the 1970s. She achieved the pinnacle of her fame and success towards the end of the 1970s. In the 1970s, Gugush was widely emulated by Iranian women as they copied her clothing, miniskirts, and her short haircut, known as the Gugushi. Following the Iranian Revolution in 1979, she remained in Tehran until 2000 and did not perform again during that period due to the ban on female singers' voice. The ban on female voice in Iran is still a current law to suppress women's rights, enforced by the Islamic occupying government since 1979. Younger generations of Iranians have rediscovered Gugush's music via bootleg recordings. After leaving Iran in 2000, she performed a total of 27 concerts in European and North American countries. Recent projects include a new collaboration with Iranian singer-songwriter Hassan Shamazadeh from her 2012 album, Ijaz, as well as serving as head judge and head of academy for the popular reality show Gugush Music Academy broadcast on London-based satellite channel Monoto. Since her return to the stage in the summer of 2000, she has performed in concerts and venues all around the world, including the Madison Square Garden in New York, the Air Canada Centre in Toronto, the Ericsson Globe in Stockholm, Honda Centre in Anaheim, Royal Albert Hall in London, and the Hollywood Bowl in Los Angeles. She has recorded songs in many languages including Persian, Iranian Azerbaijani Turkish, English, Spanish, Italian, Arabic, Armenian and French. She has a significant following outside of Iran and has even received the attention of European and African media and press. Gugush net worth is about 70 million US dollars and is the fourth wealthiest Iranian woman after Anushi Ansari, Queen Shabanu Farah Pahlavi, and Shora Hagdashlu. Now there are rumors that she is currently getting prepared for her biggest music concert tour ever, with the pianist, Thomas Lauderdale and his Pink Martini Orchestra. Gugush became the most popular singer and actress in Iran when she was in her 20s. The events were sold out whenever she was performing. Her ex-husband Mahmoud Gorbani helped her a lot along her way to success and he also could build a very profitable business around her for himself. So it was a win-win situation for both sides, until like any other couples, they grew apart for various reasons. She was banned from singing and acting by the Islamic government when she was only 29, right after the mullahs stole the revolution from the people of Iran. From the age of 29 until she was 50 years old, she was not allowed to work, sing, or act. She couldn't even get a passport, in order to legally go to another country. For 21 years, she was kept silent, until finally in the year 2000, she could manage to somehow get her passport, 
and could legally exit her home country for good. Chicago Tribune considers the return of Gugish to be more than just a pop milestone but instead a cultural marker, a measure of the way change occurs in a society that for more than two decades has tried to resist the tide of globalization by living in self-imposed isolation. In the year 2000, Gugish sang in public again, away from her homeland, for the first time after 21 years of silence to the acclaim of many longtime fans. The Gugish Comeback Tour was a series of concerts starting in July 2000. She began with a sold-out concert at the Air Canada Centre in Toronto on July 29, 2000, with an audience of more than 12,000, and eventually brought the tour to a conclusion in Dubai on March 21 and 24, 2001 on the occasion of the Iranian New Year, Noras. Her concert in Dubai was considered a homecoming for her, and out of the more than 20,000 members of the audience, 70% of them were Iranians who had crossed the Persian Gulf to hear her. In 2010, Gugush ran a Persian talent competition show called Gugush Music Academy. In April 2011, she held a concert at the Nokia Theater in Los Angeles, as well as a record-breaking performance at the same venue on October 27, 2012, as a part of her Worldwide Jazz Tour. On March 26, 2013 she performed at London's Royal Albert Hall for the first time, where other notable Persian vocalists such as Ila Hath, Ebi, and Marzia have performed memorable concerts in the past. In 2012, Gugush released her sixth studio album since her comeback, titled A Jazz. The album consisted of 10 tracks, and on March 21, 2015, Gugush released her seventh album including 11 tracks from different songwriters and composers. Unfortunately none of the tracks were as successful as the ones she sang in her 20s. Almost all of the songs she sang in her 20s became classic and people of Iran lived with them and fell in love with them, therefore Gugush is expected to sing her classic songs more than her newer songs that she released in the past 20 years. It is like, people want to see Gugush to get reminded of good old days and happy days of the past, before the Iran's dark ages that came upon Iranians by their own mistake over four decades ago, the Iranian so-called revolution. Gugush has three half-brothers on her father's side and a brother and sister on her mother's side. Gugush's first husband is Mahmoud Gorbani, a music promoter who had helped Gugush make a name for herself throughout the 1960s. Gugush and Gorbani married in February 1967. They have a son, Kambiz. After about six years of marriage, Gorbani and Gugush divorced in late 1972. In 1975, Gugush married Iranian well-known actor Behrouz Vasugi, they divorced 14 months later in 1976. During their brief marriage, they were considered to be the country's biggest celebrity couple. During the late 1970s, Gugush became involved with Homayun Mestagi and married him in 1979. Six years later, in 1985, she divorced Mestagi. She then married director Masood Kimiai in 1991. They divorced in 2005. What do you think about this video? Do let us know down in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.